Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Griffin 5M, the loyalty Griffin. I believe a bunch of you have that. And if you don't have that, don't worry, the Griffin will be available, this specific variant here, will be available for C builds a little bit later that year. Um, it is a loyalty variant, uh, for all of you who don't know how it works, um, that will be rewarded for people who bought a, spe a specific amount of uh, MC or uh, who used or who spent a specific amount of money on the game or bought specific um, a specific amount of mech packs and then depending on the amount that you spend uh, each year there is a loyalty program and you get a uh, free or up to four was it four it was five max last year i guess um that will be injected into your account uh, depending on the amount of money you spent this one here is unique uh, because it is uh, the only griffin that has ballistic hard points and it has it in the arms and as you can see we are running machine guns today the main build though is a double erppc i just wanted to play an erppc build today and i thought hey why not use the griffin for it we can stay at a good amount of range early on and just snipe the enemy and um, if it's getting close we have the extended range ppc that don't have a minimum distance so we're gonna use that um, 20 damage pinpoint it's not that crazy so don't expect like huge amounts of damage but um, if your aim is good and you consecutively hit the same component then uh, you will punch some big holes into the enemy's armor and um, getting hit by a PPC is actually a, like a nice psychological weapon Thing. I cannot speak anymore today. You know what I mean, right? So getting hit by PPCs is never nice and therefore people will try to get away from you, try to get to cover and you open some space for your team so that they can maneuver around and uh, yeah, it's a pushback weapon. So let's use that. Uh, the machine guns are light machine guns here because I want to stay at um, safe distance mostly because I run an XL engine and the Griffin is okay in terms of hitboxes. It is a bit wide but it has also nice arm shields to uh, shield your torsos with. Um, it's okay. It's okay. So therefore uh, light machine guns, not regular machine guns. We don't want to get super close. Uh, heavy machine guns are completely off the books and uh, yeah, we have a range of 250 meters. That's it. That's all I want to say. We got... Uh, XL300, as I was saying, the 300 mainly, not for the mobility, but for the fact that we can take a bunch of double heat sinks in here, two slots available, and then there are four more in the side here and in the arm, which I should actually, wait, this is the better build. I should actually put that in here. Uh, if you lose the arm, then yeah, that's not a big, that, that big of a deal, um, then, uh, yeah, having the heat sink in the arm. Brain is not working today. I don't know why. Anyhow, also we get crit padding here, but I'm not talking about that. Now, the skill build looks completely all over the place. Why? Because I had a missile build before that and the mech is far away from being mastered. Um, there's no downside of uh, leaving the missile node online here because it also enables us to keep these cooldown and heat chain nodes, right? So I would build it in a completely different way if I build it from scratch for this specific loadout. What would I do? Get rid of the laser duration, get rid of this. Um, wait, I want to go down here. All the heat gen nodes that are possible. Cooldown? Not so much, I gotta say. So this is basically what you want. Can get off these range nodes. And this is the firepower tree. You don't need more than that. Again, heat management is good, velocity is nice, and uh, cooldown is optional. After that, I would say get even more heat management by going down here. Probably gotta get the gyros. Hill climb. Although we have a lot of jump jets, I would say hill climb is uh, it's actually nice because sometimes you are out of jump fuel and then having that is probably better than having the speed retention. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. You can get the heat containment as well. This is very important rate of deprivation because we might be doing hit and run shenanigans at some point and therefore breaking line of sight and locks are it's nice. We have two cool shots here, also double artillery because we can get into nice spots with our four jump jets and uh, just drop them in mid-air and then go back to cover and regroup with the team. And apart from that, now we have 30, actually 25 points left that I would probably invest into a bit of armor here. Just like that happy little armor points and then structure points afterwards as many as we can get something along go on click 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 those lines now we have like one point or three points that you could take out here if you wanted or you know just do whatever you like that's the good thing about the builds there's no right or wrong you can do whatever suits your playstyle, and that here probably would be mine all right that's the build everybody I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield.
Alright, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Viridian Borg. Our upper strike is about 50% as you can see. Um, that means that we need some extensive cooldown periods. I believe with the cooldown calculated into our consistent fire, we can shoot three times before we overheat. And um, we gotta keep that in mind. So it's not really a brawler, although I like brawling. So let's try to get a high ground somewhere and try to shoot people at long, long range. We got a good amount of jump. Jets, so that should enable us to get up here. And um, we're gonna watch the side there. Alright, here we are. I really hope that the enemies don't have enough long range to contest me here. So, Cheetah is there. Uh, we got a good hit on him, that's 20 damage to, I believe it was the arm. Not too crazy there. Uh, that definitely was another hit. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch this here. So, I'm not in a rush whatsoever. Just gonna, oh damn it, set up here, shoot the tree, and uh, the tree is very angry. I mean, look at his, his uh, crooked, uh, what's it called, branches there. That's a very angry tree. Okay, this guy. Uh, I was hoping that he would run around him completely. He did not. Uh, and he stopped moving. Uh, okay, shoot that, and then we, we're gonna get down here. My team is moving, and uh, I would be on the platter up there. So, I, I don't want to get shot too much by all of these guys coming up and I need to reposition immediately. So that's the thing, when playing a sniper, take a keen look at the minimap and reposition if needed. Don't get caught too much on, uh, on the front line, or don't focus too much on the front line, on your targets. Also see what's coming up around you. Okay, you can do it again. Right, punching some holes into these guys. Awesome right side crit. Awesome is echo. Right side crit. Uh, we're gonna, you know, go with them right now. So there's no need for me, again, staying in the outskirts. Since I need to cool down anyway, I might be able to reposition and maybe we can bring the light machine guns on the awesome, shredding his side. Let's see. Guy on top? No. Awesome, not in range. So we're gonna... Uh, you can push the king crab, guys. He's running LRMs, mostly. King to, uh, king to push the king crab. King to push crab. Uh, that's the awesome. Let's just go. Nice. And here come the machine guns! Cool, that's a good kill. Let's annoy the guy a bit. We're not doing great damage with the machine guns against armor, of course. However, um, we can just make him pull back. Got it? Oh, <clears throat> never mind. Um, gotta save some ammo for later, though. At the moment, it's looking great, but we need to pull back now. Oh, how about these guys? I tried to take the shortest route towards the enemy here. Uh-huh, this assault mech is dead. I wanted to say this assault mech needs to survive. Are all of them down? If all of them are in the basement in the bottom there, we might just drop artillery here on the carapace. What's this? It's the active cheetah from before. Uh, come on, show yourself, buddy. Now nah, we're gonna go for bigger targets that are easier to hit. Like the Orion back there. Ah, that was the tree! Okay, what about the Charlie guy here? Rotary 2 Dragon. Alright, let's make him uncomfortable. Uh, okay, he's stuck. That was great. So his side is almost down. And we're gonna go in and... Uh, as much as I don't want to say it, but we're gonna go in and brawl now. With the Dragon, hopefully. Maybe he is not able to get out of the harm's way. Come on! The machine guns, not enough. This guy is scary, he's running double gauss. Oh, damn it, that's the cheetah. Dude, I have machine guns, you have machine guns. Shall we just call it a draw? Shall we? <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. Teammates are coming in. Ow. Yeah, 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 yeah. this is why. Enemies are pushing. That's the thing. How about this guy? 61%. I'm gonna secure the back. No, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Alrighty. Okay, we are cold, we should be going in again. At this point, we really need to make use of our heat that we have. It's the Arctic wolf down there. Not the cheetah, it's a wolf now. He has evolved. <laughs> SRMs and medium lasers. Okay. Yeah, the big guy is coming for the rescue. That's really nice to see. There's a fire starter all the way in the outskirts. That's the wolf. He's dead. Uh, where did the other guys go? Can we get another angle? Uh, obviously not. Are they all dead? I cannot believe that they're all dead. That's not possible. Uh, you got this Orion covered. That's good. I believe there are still enemies here. One of which is a hunchback. 
And then there is the cheetah, right? Yeah, that seems like it. Okay, Hunchy, come over here. Good. Hey, that's your kill, I know. I know, dude. I'm sorry. So, by the way, you don't need to lead your shots when shooting machine guns. You just need to aim at the target. Machine guns might have the, these bullets traveling. However, they are just um, cosmetic. So, this is just go, go in. Shoot your machine guns on point. Um, they only have hit scan. Cool, that worked out pretty well. Uh, don't expect huge damage numbers in the end, guys. We were punching single holes in the enemies. Opening them up for the kills for my teammates. But anyhow, it was fun to play this year. Yeah, as you can see, we got one killing blow, eight assist, one kill most damage dealt with 356 damage done. But again, this is about precision more than just dealing raw damage at the enemy. And it worked out pretty fine. So, got a lot of psycho um, yeah, psychologic factors on the battlefield with the PPCs and it worked out in the end. A thousand damage from the Mad Dog. Wow, nice. But yeah, that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Solaris City and we are playing Assault. I think I want to go to the center of the map, uh, especially if we can get high ground. And uh, it seems that my teammates are more or less orientating themselves to the right. So I'm gonna take the right lamp, uh, right lamp, no right ramp, not the lamp, the right ramp instead of the left one. And we're gonna see if we can engage early and uh, maybe hit some enemies before the big fight starts. Oh, just jumping a bit. Making sure that I have a good angle on them if they are coming in. Also, we got a disconnect. I mean, enemies got a disconnect. I would actually expect them to be, yeah, more or less on the right side. And actually even more than less. Yeah, let's go in and engage here. Let's engage early and try to soften them up. Trying to get a kill, maybe, immediately. The machine guns, we, we managed to open them up. I couldn't really get a streak off the battlefield. However, we might be doing it... No, not quite. Hi, dude. So, that's a pulse laser build. Ouchie. That's not so good. Again, machine guns to the crit. We opened the back. And uh, somebody else got the kill. So, nice job there. Nice job. I still uh, take too much damage from the lasers up there. The cataphract, the uh, warhammer. It's just too much for me alone. Oh, it's not a cataphract. It's a catapult. But, yeah. We, we, we will manage. It's okay. It's one and one, actually. Uh, I could have taken a shot there. I could also have just wasted heat, so mm, it's alright. With the base is being captured already. Oh, that's crazy. Can we? We can! No, I cannot, because... Oh, stupid hit registration. When an enemy is on top of another enemy, uh, sometimes the hit registration is off and it doesn't work. Okay. Shouldn't engage these guys alone here, I gotta say. Let's go. Let's just go. Yeah, leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. I have a king crab here, so if we can bait him in, that's the king crab that is hopefully shooting them. Uh, he's pushing. Okay, let's go. Trying to hit the center there. Nice kill. Alright, can we get an angle on this guy? Not quite, not really. I'm happy that the Madhawk is down. That's uh, actually my escape vector here against the Banshee. Uh, the king crab is pushing though, so let's go with him. Wait, who's shooting us there? There was shooting either coming from... Yeah, not either. There is shooting coming from the right. I'm pinned. Ooh, too much damage. I need to go. King Crab, run, run, run. Please, go. Thank you. King Crab, turn around. There are assault mags behind us. Thank you. Oh, let's go. I'm right behind you, buddy. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Five and three. I lost my machine gun, sadly. And yeah, I could have shot the guy. Didn't see it properly. Alright. Mm hmm. I tried to get as much distance between me and the Mad Cat. However, with the combined effort of King Krabby and me, we can actually. Ooh! Get the kill! I don't know if I actually dealt team damage or not. The Banshee's coming in, and I'm stuck. I couldn't move maneuver anymore. But that's the last shot I'm gonna take. And. And I'm gonna probably die? Maybe not? Why am I not dead? I should be. I should be dead a hundred times over and stuck again. Go away! Leave me alone! Where did he go? That cheetah! <laughs> I cannot believe that I'm still alive. I should not be alive whatsoever. At all. 
nope, nope. It's just not okay for me to be alive. Uh, okay, so it's quiet. It's quiet again on the battlefield. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna push the base? Are we gonna go and try to hunt down the last max? I'd say we do the latter. I still have one PPC. Oh my god. <laughs> the Banshee is still alive. There's a Banshee. There's a Banshee, Juliet. <laughs> the King Crab is going in relentlessly still. Uh, losing arms. Alright, center to also hit. And there was the follow up. Holy cow! That was a fight! Nice job, everybody. Oh, wait. Do it! Careful! What did you shoot? Dude, I'm a one shot. Be careful. <laughs> There's still one enemy alive, which is capping our base. Yeah, the base is under attack. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they are chasing one light mech, which is uh, an Aki Cheetah with large lasers. You know what? We're gonna get some base capture points just to get some more money and XP, because I really need to uh, get a ma good amount of XP on the mech. So, doing the parkour on the top of the buildings. Just right towards the base. Sorry guys for the black and white, um, but it really helps with the higher contrast against the buildings and the environment here. Seeing white mech against black is so much better for me to, to hit stuff than uh, it would be normally. So, I'm sorry, but it's just better for me. <laughs> cool. So, let's um, shoot this thing off. And the guy oh, killed himself. Alright. At least you fall to the end. Now, let's have a look at the end score. <laughs> I even got a kill. The cheetah. The cheetah. Alrighty, we got one killing blow, seven assists, one kill most damage dealt with, 544 damage done, and one component destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.